Hey everybody, and welcome back. My name is Matthew Boyle from Legendary Language Learner. Thank you so much for joining me again. In today's video, I kind of wanted to make an overview video about the Leitner box and spaced repetition systems, studying with flashcards, not only languages, but just studying in general. And I wanted to do this because the Leitner box videos that I make on this channel have been some of the most popular videos. I've gotten a lot of support from them. I currently have, I believe, uh, let me know if I'm wrong, the most videos about learning with the Lightner Box in one place, and I've made a lot of creative videos about how to use it differently, how to adapt it, how to optimize it, how to enrich it. So I wanted to make this video today really just to check in with you guys who love using flashcards and the Lightner Box and to say thank you for all the support you've given me with those videos and that playlist. I'm going to put a link into this video so you guys can see that playlist and make sure you haven't missed any of those videos because there are some really cool ones in there. Uh, before I jump in, I also want to warmly welcome you to like and subscribe. Let's not forget that so you can support what I do and so you'll be aware of when new videos are coming out. I tend to post a new video every Saturday these days. And, um, you know, I don't only learn languages in my life, and I don't only learn languages with the Lightner Box. I don't only use the Lightner Box for languages. This is a great tool that we can use to study many different things. So what are some of the videos that I've made on this channel? What can you look for that is really um, going to take you to the next level and sort of up the game for you. First of all, I want to point you to the Leitner Box Race. This is a really simple idea that can be so fun to use with your Leitner Box and your friends. Basically what it entails is you and your friends who are interested in this, you can start using your Leitner Boxes at the same time. You can put in the same number of cards every day and you can follow the same calendar and then after a certain amount of weeks, you both stop, or however many people are doing it, you all stop. And then you tally up your points to see who's the winner. Whoever graduated the more cards in that time is going to have more points. And so it's a fun way to get more people involved together with the Lightner Box and gamify the experience even further. So like every card you have in level one is worth one point. Every card you have in level two is worth two points and so on. So at the end of the time frame, you all can count up your points. So I'll put a link in this video to the Lightner Box Race. This is a novel idea that I came up with. So I welcome you to share it. But if you do, drop my name, send people back to me, let them know what I'm doing here with all the Lightner Box stuff. Uh, the second thing I wanna recommend is what I have right here in my hand, Lightner Cards. This is a card game that I've made, again, to enrich our use of the Lightner, Lightner Box, get more out of it. And what this is, this is a set of about, I think there may be exactly 48 practice cards in here or so. There are challenge cards that you can shuffle into your flash cards that are in your Lightner Box. And then when you take out a file to study and you're going through your cards and you hit one of these challenge cards, it's going to give you some kind of unique challenge that you need to pass related to the flashcards that you're working with at that moment. There's some little dots on the bottom of each card that show you where to put these cards um, in a file. Sometimes you put cards at the front of all the flashcards of a given file. Sometimes you put it in the midst of them, sometimes you put it at the end of them, and some of the challenges are to use once you have finished all of your flashcard files for the day. So that's another thing I would recommend to you is Lightner cards. I'll put a link again in the video so you can learn more about these. These are available in a physical, professionally printed deck, like you see here, or you can also go for the downloadable print and play version that is uh, more uh, cheap than these professionally printed cards and you can download them, save it to your computer, print it out, cut it out, start using and experimenting with them right away. And there's also some blank cards in there too, so if you create your own challenges you can let me know. You can tweet them out, for example. Uh, 
make me aware of them, and then in future reiterations of this game, I can build your ideas into the game, which I think would be really fun. Um, let me see, is there anything else? There's also the Lightner Maintenance Box, uh, which is an idea that I have for how to deal with the all the graduated cards you have. All the cards that have completely left the system, what do you do with those? For that, I came up with the idea of the Lightner Maintenance Box. Link in this vid to that. So I want to highly recommend that you check out the playlist, and I thank you so much for for liking those videos and for sharing those videos out and for sharing those playlists out. I really just want to help people understand how incredible the system is. I use it so much. I've used it for years and I'm going to be putting out more videos about other things that we can uh, do with the Lightner Box and other things I use it for. But that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'm looking forward to your comments down below. I'm looking forward to engaging with you there. Have fun studying with your uh, Lightner boxes or your other spaced repetition systems, and I'll see you back here next time. Bye-bye for now.